hello friends so welcome to this lecture on application management via azure ad so in this particular lecture we'll discuss two things the first is what are the issues with the application management and then what are the different benefits if we'll manage the application via the azure ad because in azure ad we can register apps we'll get the identities and then we can provide access to different applications via the azure ad two other services which we have in azure so before moving further and we need to understand that features and what are the issues see from an application management perspective there is a there is a big issue or a pain point first we should understand then it will help us to understand the application management via azure ad or app registration in case of azure see from an organization perspective in enterprise there are number of users and there are two to three hundred applications which are used internally or you can say externally including of SaaS applications and there are number of custom developed apps which are which are created by the organization for to for day to day business see in an organization the i have listed a couple of applications like sap erp or office 365 outlook onedrive there are general applications like teams yammer and microsoft intune number of applications are being used to run the day to day business and there are different users different application managers application administrators security auditors each and every person would be requiring different kind of access and different kind of access would be required by application to manage other applications so in that case from a security administration perspective governance perspective it is a very tedious job and uh, i would say a difficult task to manage all the applications in a proper way and there will always be some kind of loophole wherein it is either the organization uh, is not having the visibility what is happening or when number of people are involved a governance would be an issue so in that case if we manage the application via the azure ad in that case application automatically gets registered in the azure ad and with the ease we will be able to provide access to other resources within the azure ad so when we application uh, manage the application via azure ad it basically helps in providing a very secure and a seamless access to cloud and on premise application because when you register uh, you'll get a kind of identity for that particular app within the azure active directory and then there are number of services whether they want to access key vault or they need to access storage account to store some data or a sql server then the access is pretty easily managed within a single uh, single service is active directory and the other thing is user can sign in once and they'll be able to log into office 365 and the various saas applications and then application management would be pretty easy so the key benefits would be enhanced user productivity with single sign on see when the user will log in using the single sign on they need not to remember the password for different application one single password can be used for the uh, for the different applications which they have and in that case they'll not be writing the password onto some sticky notes or notepad so we have a better control over there better governance and compliance because we'll be able to fetch reports from the active directory that what users are logged in when they logged in we'll be able to get the different reports related to the identities if someone is trying to hack or someone trying to uh, perform some kind of uh, malicious activity so there are different uh, reports we get and at the same time we'll be able to remediate number of things so we'll have a better governance and compliance so reduce risk using the conditional access policy so there is a option that okay we can apply the conditional access policy that okay only these users from these locations should be able to log into these particular lab let's say or if the users needs to access a particular app the mfa should be enforced to or let's say in order to access this particular application the user must be logged in from a organization compliant device so there are 
number of options or features which Azure AD provides wherein we can provide access to a certain application to a certain user on certain conditions and if those conditions are fulfilled the access would be provided to a user or an application so that we can have a better control so this is it friends in this lecture in this lecture we discussed about the application management issue and then we discussed about the benefits we get when we manage the application via the azure ad so thank you friends thank you for watching this lecture meet you in the next lecture thank you